to see if your blog is up by opening a new tab here. Sarah's Zero Teaches at oat.wordpress.com. And there it is. It's kind of exciting if you've never had a website up before. So this is a blog, but we do have multiple pages. See, you, you have a home page, you have an about page. And that's what we're going to work on next. You can see there's some dummy text there. Okay, so I'm going to delete back out of this, and we are going to, Ooh, did I cancel that? Sarah. No, just make sure you save those changes when you get to that. I'm not sure I covered that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close that, and I'm going to go to my blog's dashboard. Here it is. And the first thing that we started off in class doing is working on the about page. So you're going to go down here on your dashboard to this pages. You're going to click on all pages. You can see your about page is already set up. You can either click right on that or click edit. And remember that dummy text was there so that's going to show up for us and we are the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete that dummy text. There we go. Okay. So, delete that. And in class, one of the things we did is we answered a bunch of questions about ourselves in a free write to kind of get the ball rolling since not all of us are super comfortable with writing. Um, some of the questions we answered were Who are you and where do you come from? Why do you want to be a designer or an illustrator? What inspires you? Or what's a dream client or a dream project? What do you want to learn? How do you want others to see you? And why are you here at the Delaware College of Art and Design? After we did a quick free write where we really didn't care at all about spelling and grammar, we took another pass and edited, edited it down. Um, the rule was that it needed to be less than 200 words, and if you want to see what 200 words looks like, a, a resource we talked about in class, Lipsum.com. If you're not familiar with it, bookmark it. It is a dummy copy generator. Um, if you've ever heard someone say Greek it, that's, this is a way of Greeking it. So let's just see what 200 words looks like. You can come down here and enter any number of words. Generate Laura Mipsum. Lipsum. Okay, that's 200 words. Now the reason I say a maximum of 200 words is think about any website you've ever gone to and if you see more information about that, especially in a bio about a person, nobody, people don't like to read that much. People won't stick around to read it. So treat your bio just like you would your portfolio. Um, you, want, you always want to leave people wanting more rather than having more than they know what to do with. So this is the maximum and minimum, heck, it could be a sentence if you're creative with it. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a visual there. So I have already worked on my bio. Um, it is nothing particularly exciting, but it just needs to be grammatically correct, spelling correct. If you want to have some personality in there, great. Um, I just did it quickly here because I want to get up and get moving and start sharing my work. So I open this back up in my text editor. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to close out of it. I'm going to click into my text field here. Oops. Oh, I just hit copy. Let's see if this will still work. Paste. Okay, great. I would ask that for now, don't change the formatting of the text. Don't pick a new font. Don't center it. Um, keep it less ju left justified as it is. We're not designing the blog. We're designing the contents on the blog. And that, I'll keep saying that. You might get sick of me hearing me say that. So here it is. Um, if you want to add a link, I think I'm going to add a link. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open a new tab. GCAD. Is that it? Link. Insert. When I ha when I hover over any of these symbols, they tell me what they are. Insert or edit a edit a link. I'm having trouble with that word today. And here I can just Apple V paste it in there. Add a title so that when somebody hovers over it, they know where it's going to go add a link. 
Um, let's see, anything else that I would want to link? Links are kind of a nice thing to do. Okay, um, that sums it up. The other thing we talked about adding here is a photo of yourself, and we'll get back to that in just a moment here. I'm going to go ahead and click update, or if you want, you can always preview changes first. Oh, another thing you can do, I'm going to go ahead and do this, about Sarah. You can, you can have it say anything you want. Short is good. This time I'm going to preview those, change it up. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is, um, there are a few people in the class who maybe weren't sure how to resize a photo. Um, one of the things we want to be sure is that we never post anything that is too high res on our blog. Um, that way we don't risk anybody having printable size files of our artwork online. Um, we can never keep complete control over who might pin our artwork on Pinterest or share it or claim it as their own or even if they have good intentions and they're sharing it on their blog but you don't really want them to share it. Um, if by, by keeping it low res on your own blog that assures that they don't have access to, to big files. Okay, so I'm, I saved this on my desktop here. It's a JPEG of myself, and I'm going to open it up in Photoshop so you can see it here. I need a new headshot. My hair is not this short. I'll get to my homework. Okay, so this is fairly small already because you can see that I'm viewing it at 100% here. But let's just say I want it to be a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is go to Image, Image Size. I'll we'll pull this into view for you. It's 500 by 500 pixels now. 72 dpi is the screen resolution, so that means that's um, the size that it's going to show up exactly on your screen. So right now on my screen, it's 6.9 by 6.9 inches. Um, let's say that I just want it to be 4 inches. And see how the proportions are constrained here? If, if those aren't linked, You'll want to turn constrain proportions on so that you're not stretching your image. So I'm going to go ahead and click 4, click OK. I'm going to file, save as. It's a good, good quick moment to think about your file naming techniques. Oh, look at that. I had named it Zerio, so I'm going to fix that instead of zero. It's really good to get in the habit of naming your files things that are clear to you. So zero, headshot. And I'm going to remind myself that this is 72. That means it's low resolution. And that way I'm not ever saving over my high res stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and save that to my desktop for now. Save. OK. And I'm going to go ahead and close out of Photoshop. Meanwhile, back to the blog. For now, I'm going to put my picture right here. Add media. Select files. I saved it to my desktop. I'm going to pick up. I know it's this one, 72, instead of that one. You can also see. Yeah. So this is my media library. I have it selected. If people are loading the website or for some reason the picture isn't showing up for them, this title is what is going to show up for them. So I'm just going to, going to put headshot. I, I don't want a caption to show up. Alignment, I would like it to be on the left side. Link to media file, so that means if someone clicks on it, it will um, open the picture in its own screen. Sometimes you might want to link it to something else. Um, and full size, that's what I saved it at. Okay, insert into page. And there it is. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to look, so I'm going to preview those changes. It's a little shoddy. That's where I'm just going to keep it for now. This is what the homework was. That's where we left it. Or, excuse me, this is what we did in class. And then the headshot was homework if you didn't have a headshot already. Um, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you actually how to move that image to a sidebar, but that will be a separate video. I'm going to close out of this page. And just to clean up my tabs, I'm going to close out of DCAD. Okay, so that was just a preview. So now I am going to update it. I'm not worrying about line breaks right now. 
on the page. I just want to get it up there. We're going to critique your headshot and the writing. Great. Okay. Next thing will be the rest of the homework. And I will, I will do one more separate video for that. So I'll see you back here in just a moment.